Welcome back to Dark Souls. I'm gonna show you guys where to summon Beatrice, the NPC. Alright, now you can only summon Beatrice if you summoned her during the Moonlight Butterfly fight. You do need to wear the Ring of Atoras, the Covenant of Atoras ring. And I do recommend you put um, put on high magic defense uh, armors for this fight. Alright, so if you fall down here without wearing the Covenant of Atorias, you will die. Alright. And do not take off the Covenant of Atorias while you're down here. Um, it'll say that you fell through the abyss and stuff like that. Alright, anyways, this fight is pretty easy. You just have to two-hand your weapon and uh, just keep rolling through the attacks. As you can see what I'm doing here. Alright, now for that move right there, you want to watch out for that. It will steal a humanity from you and take out a pretty good amount of your uh, HP. So just be careful about that. Alright, now when he throws this right here, you can't avoid it by getting close to him. That is, that is my only knowledge of avoiding that move as of now. Um, I don't know if there's any way to avoid that move. But anyways, just keep on uh, rolling through the attacks here. It's always better to stay near this boss because... It's really like his actual blade that is the strongest part of the sword. If you get hit by like the the handle or something like that, it doesn't really do much to you. All right, so you can also just put up your shield when he throws that magic and does that move or that explosion. Um, this is the crest shield from uh, Undead Salem. This shield is very good against poor kings. It basically makes their magic look like nothing even happened. Alright, so when he does this, you just want to roll away from him. Basically, you want to kill them as fast as possible, so that you don't have to fight multiple of them at one time. If there are more more four kings out there, you don't have to kill them all. You just have to lower its HP all the way to zero, and that's the end of the four kings fight. This is the toughest boss in the entire game, at least that's my opinion on this game, or this boss for the game. Alright, so if you did talk to Frampt, the other uh, guy that looks like the one up there, which is in Firelink, this guy would not show up. but. Um, I didn't go talk to Framp after I got the Lord Vessel, so this guy shows Greetings, up. Undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Darkstalker Kaf. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, 
The ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men. The Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his Age of Fire and in dire fear of humans, and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true Lord. But the other serpent, Framped, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still, and trust thine flesh to me. Alright, so now this guy, he's just gonna take you down to, uh, Gwyn's grave, or wherever Gwyn is. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Alright, so placing the Lord's Vessel does unlock new areas for you to go to. Resting here does automatically give you 10 Estus Flasks. Very well. One, seek Gravelord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor, Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls, then the gate will open, so that you may kill Gwyn. Are you ready? Then... Alright, so then if you talk to him again, you can uh, join the, the Dark Wrath Covenant.
So we're gonna be going to um, defeat Seed the Scalers first. Which uh, seat is in the Duke's archives? So we'll be headed there first. You can go to any of the three first. It's really up to you. Alright, heading through here is where you meet the next, uh, bull, boar thingy. You just want to two-hand your weapon and you'll hit right through their armor. So if you missed it earlier, the fang, boar helm thingy, um, you can get another one right here. Alright, so the next bonfire is right here for the archives. Alright, so then uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.